Hi everyone, it is me, Jordan Long here, and today I'm going to talk with, you know, Michael, the, the top keeper, or top watcher, and it's not smooth being him by any, any, any thought, you know, and he probably has a lot more harder than anyone else, so, well, let's go talk with him. All right, we're gonna tell some truth here. You don't, you don't see me right because the shield's covering my leer. Oh, sorry, can't do anything about that. All right, I guess this is good. We're gonna get it. So, you are. So, Michael, you have been entrusted to God since the beginning when you were made, and you were the one who was led the. Who led the heavens I guess we'll call it the land might against Lucifer and his team yes that's right I did lead I was the one who led the fight against Lucifer and his side and it wasn't a very smooth fight see a lot of folks out there you know don't know all the things that went on you see, after God made the world, and God made us, and God made mankind and womankind, and there were some of us who were entrusted to God and loved God and, you know, worked for God. But keep in mind, everything we do is for God. We never get the thanks. That thanks goes to God. We just carry out his goals. Then you had Lucifer and all of his folks who believed that they should lord over heaven, believed that they should not have to love and worship God, that they did not have to work to God, and felt that they didn't have to fall, watch over mankind and womankind. And there was a big fight. And that big fight led to Lucifer and his, his folks being casted out into what you folks call hell. There was no hell in the beginning, that got crafted later on. Well, Michael, I know a lot of folks talk about your fight that you had with Lucifer, and it does happen in the Holy Book, but it happens towards the end when they talk about it, not in the beginning. Well, what about, what were so many other things that you did, well, you still do? Oh, well, I was the one well, let's keep in mind, I was the one who came down from heaven to earth to pull the stone away from where Jesus was buried so God could bring Jesus back to life, you know, on Easter Sunday, since God had Jesus die for all the sins of all mankind and all womankind, so their sins could be cleaned away so they could have their stead in heaven. I did that, you know. Um, so I wouldn't say that working for God would not be a smooth thing oh no working for God sometimes can be smooth but sometimes can be hard too you know you're working with free will and when God wants something done you have to come up with a way to make it work because it, since God gave mankind and womankind free will so you're working with free will when it comes to doing good, you know, or doing evil. Well, isn't it true that, isn't it true that man and woman are good? Mankind and womankind are good, but they can also be evil too. But you see, God in us, we help mankind and womankind get that goodness, you know. And uh, that's how it is like. So, I guess to say that your work was not over after your after you beat Lucifer, or your work was not over after you're the one that helped pull the stone away from where Jesus was uh, buried, so God could bring Jesus back to life. How did that work? Well. 
after uh, after God had Jesus, after God had Jesus die for the sins of all mankind and womankind, God sent Jesus to hell to fight Lucifer, to overtake death, to overtake sin, and also get all of those good souls who had died from the early BCs until the late BCs and get them to heaven because their sins had been cleaned away so they could be welcomed into heaven. And I also helped with that too. But at the end of the day, the thanks should never go to me. The thanks is always to God and always to Jesus because they're the ones that truly do the work. We don't get thanks for anything we do because at the end of the day it is God that is carrying it out. We're just working for him. So, on Jesus' birthday, Yule, is it a big thing in heaven like it is on earth? Well, it is a big thing in heaven like it is on earth. You know, there is a big birthday gathering, Yule, whatever you call it on earth, for Jesus. And, you know, it's a big thing, you know. And unlike calling it Yule or whatever you folks on earth call it, up in heaven they call it Jesus' birthday because it was his birthday. You might call the holy day or holiday Yule because that is the, that is the English word for your for that holiday. But it's a big thing, you know. But Jesus doesn't only have a birthday gathering in heaven; he has it down on earth. You see, Jesus comes to earth to be with his sons and daughters, just like God does. And God and Jesus are always happy to see everyone together, loving each other, being kind to each other. And you know, so if there was anything you could say, now I know over the years a lot of folks have a belief that only those who believe in Jesus or believe in God get into heaven. Is that true? No. God loved all mankind and womankind. So everyone had their sins clean taken on and cleaned away through the beating and through the death and through the new and through the the, the uh through the rising. So even if they don't believe or do believe, they got their stead in heaven. I should know I was there that day when God was talking to me about about making Jesus and what his goals was for Jesus and what what the what Jesus and him would do at the end. I should know, you know, all right, so I just want to say, one, ask you one more thing for you in this film, so what's your kinship between God and Jesus these days, great, like I told you, I kept entrusted to God and to Jesus since the beginning, and it's great, you know, and I still do work in the name of God. It didn't end after those things. Well, I gotta be going now. Well, thank you, Michael. You're welcome. So that was me talking with Michael, the 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 the, the main watcher or top watcher. If you like this film, follow me over here at the the Jordan Long Show. Which is also, that's the name of the fairway. But the handle's a Jordan Long fairway. And what's the laugh that I made yesterday over here? But not smooth being a, being a Yule elf. I, Jordan Long, and I'll see you later. Bye.